Imagine you wake up tomorrow and find yourself in another world. A place where disease does not exist. The aging process is no longer part of the human condition, but everyone's consciousness is wirelessly connected to the internet, instantaneously downloading knowledge at the speed of thought. You get out of bed and look out the window. Everything looks pretty much the same, except the cars are driving themselves, dogs are being walked by robotic machines, and everyone seems to have this glazed, almost zombie-like look in their eyes, as if they're trapped inside their own heads, one foot in the real world and the other constantly sinking back up to the cloud. It sounds like a plot straight out of a science fiction movie, right? But what if I told you this could be our reality sooner than you might think? Yes! That's awesome! According to visionary, yet somewhat controversial thinker Ray Kurzweil, this version of reality isn't just possible, it's inevitable. That is the sound of inevitability. Welcome to today's introspective breakdown of Kurzweil's The Singularity is Near, one of the most compelling books of the 21st century that explores the possibilities of a future where technology transcends its current role as a mere supplement to everyday life to become the driving force that propels and informs every single aspect of our existence. Ray Kurzweil is an American computer scientist, inventor, and futurist who has written extensively on the topics of artificial intelligence, biotechnology, nanotechnology, and the technological singularity. He is well known for his optimistic outlook on the future of humanity and his predictions about the rapid pace of technological advancements. And while transhumanism and artificial general intelligence are not completely foreign concepts, in this hypothetical future world Kurzweil paints, he ferries us out to the furthest reaches of what might be possible in the marriage between humans and technology, challenging our preconceptions and daring us to think outside of our current bubbles of transitive understanding. So to set the table for today's exploration, let's start by defining what is meant when we reference the idea of technological singularity. The concept of technological singularity refers to a hypothetical point in the future when technological growth becomes exponentially rapid and results in transformative changes to human civilization. Central to this idea is the development of artificial intelligence that can autonomously improve itself potentially leading to a cycle of rapid self-enhancement, which enables it to surpass human intelligence. This idea of self-improving AI could dramatically accelerate technological and scientific development, causing unpredictable and irreversible impacts on society. The implications of reaching the singularity are profound, ranging from massive advancements in solving global problems like economics and disease to introducing new ethical and philosophical dilemmas concerning machine ethics and privacy. While some, like Kurzweil, view the singularity as an inevitable and positive milestone, others caution against its potential risks, highlighting the challenges it poses to societal norms and human values. Thus, the technological singularity represents a theoretical event horizon beyond which the future becomes difficult to foresee or comprehend due to the unprecedented pace of technological innovation. I have absolutely no idea what's going on. And with where we are currently in our technological life cycle, Kurzweil posits that we now find ourselves coming up on this event horizon much more quickly than a lot of us may have realized. He points us to the concept of exponential technology growth. Unlike the steady, linear advancement we're accustomed to, technological growth is accelerating exponentially, each new innovation building upon the last, speeding up development at faster and faster compounding rates. In other words, what previously might have taken a few decades to accomplish might now be possible in just a few years. And what's now possible in a few years might soon be possible in just a few months. Imagine living in a reality where the speed of innovation is almost instantaneous. The possibilities would truly be endless. Through his writings, Kurzweil further explains how the law of accelerating returns, where the returns on investment in technology, such as improvements in computing power and cost effectiveness, also increase exponentially, will inevitably lead to a self-reinforcing cycle of innovation. And as each generation of technology improves, it will enhance its own ability to develop the next, enhanced iteration of itself, much like a snowball expanding and speeding up as it rolls downhill. This rapid technological growth promises to have profound impacts on society. 
Kurzweil envisions a world where biotechnology eradicates disease, artificial intelligence tackles and solves humanity's greatest challenges, and existential conversations about technology become as routine as discussing the weather. We're not just talking about upgrading your smartphone's OS to the newest version here. This would essentially be a full system reboot of society, fundamentally shifting the way we all live our lives on a daily basis. Diving deeper into Kurzweil's specific predictions for the near future, he projects this bold vision to include robots with human-like intelligence, human consciousness merged with machines, and drastically increased or even infinite lifespans through the means of technological advancements. It's hard to fathom that this type of a reality could be right around the corner, but then you think about the amount of rapid change that has occurred in just the past couple of years, and it really does make you wonder if the singularity is creeping up faster than we realize. It's already here. And as we hurtle towards this singularity, we confront profound philosophical questions, such as what is truly possible and what are the outer limits of those possibilities. Kurzweil challenges us to reconsider our notions of life, consciousness, and identity, venturing into discussions that push the boundaries of what we ever thought could be achieved in our lifetimes. On the flip side, while these ideas present an awe-inspiring and surrealistic vision of the future where technology and biology merge on many levels, it places us at a crossroads filled with unprecedented ethical dilemmas as we integrate technology more deeply into the very foundation of human existence. It's crucial to pause and ask ourselves, what does it truly mean to be human? And are we unknowingly heading down a dark path? So let's take a moment to consider this. What is the quote unquote essence of humanity? And by enhancing our physical and cognitive abilities with technological implants and artificial intelligence, do we risk diluting the very traits that define us as human? Do we lose our empathy and compassion? Our fallibility? Our ability to feel and love and create and have organic human experiences? These traits have sculpted culture and morality throughout history. And if we begin to engineer these qualities out, what will remain of the human spirit? Will it be possible to endure and thrive? Or will it be distilled down, rendering it a helpless slave to its technology overlords? Then there's also the issue of faith and the existential role of technology. As machines begin to become more and more omnipotent and omniscient, able to solve our greatest challenges and potentially bring us to heights we never imagined, do we risk turning that technology into some form of false idol? This raises a profound question. In our relentless pursuit of technological advancement, might we lose sight of the importance of spiritual connection and divine purpose, replacing it with reverence for the artificial machine intelligence that we so dearly rely on to run our cities, towns, commerce, infrastructure, and even the most basic parts of our daily lives? You serious, Clark? Lastly, we must consider the potential health and psychological impacts. What happens when the human mind becomes merged with technology? a constant barrage of data and information streaming into one's consciousness. What would it actually look and feel like to be biologically connected to the internet? Could this lead to new forms of mental illness, perhaps conditions we've never seen or imagined? We already have so many new chronic illnesses and mental health issues cropping up each year, and yet here we are aspiring to place even more unknowns into the equation. On the flip side of this same coin, if the advances in technology do help us eliminate diseases and drastically reduce aging as Kurzweil assures us it inevitably will, are we prepared for the social ramifications of vastly extended lifespans? Is our infrastructure prepared to handle that? And maybe the strangest part about all this is that these are not just hypothetical questions anymore. They are imminent realities that require our careful consideration. As we seemingly vault ourselves headfirst into this brave new world, it's crucial to navigate the ethical waters with as much wisdom and foresight as we apply to the technology itself, ensuring that our technological journey into the future enhances and flourishes our humanity rather than diminishing and suppressing it. And that, my friends, will perhaps be the greatest challenge of all. So as we stand here on the brink of possibly the greatest technological revolution in history, one thing is clear. The future is a complete wild card, and its possibilities are limitless. Will Kurzweil's predictions come true? Will we transcend our biological limits to become something beyond human? Hello.
And will those advancements ultimately be good for the whole of humanity or create troubling, unforeseen consequences that send us spiraling into some nightmarish future timeline that we've seen play out time after time on the big screen? Only time will tell. But one thing's for sure, the journey there will be nothing short of fascinating. All right, that's all for now. I appreciate you diving into this complicated subject matter with me today. Don't forget to drop a like on the video, subscribe to our channel for ongoing news, tutorials, and case studies, and comment below to let us know what you guys think about today's discussion. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time on the Futurist Empire channel.